Hi everyone. So following on from the last video about neck pain and headaches, I'm going to show you how to do this lying down in bed or on the floor if you can't feel like you can do it seated or holding your hands up or anything like that. So if you feel too tired to do it the opposite way, you can actually do it while lying down, which is quite a good advantage to have. So what we're going to do is just test our range of motion again. So first and foremost, you're going to look up as far as you can and then look down. The problem with looking down while you're lying down is that you've got to lift your head, which can create some tension there as well. So don't worry if you can't get too far there. Then rotate from the left to the right. Might get further, you might not, depending on how you feel. Then you've got a side bend to the left, so ear to shoulder, then to the level again, then ear to shoulder, the opposite way. Okay, so those are the core movements that we want from the neck. Now, what we do is we're gonna try and put a bit of resistance and contract, relax again. So the 10 seconds contract, 10 to 20%. Then we're gonna do that three to four times each time. So a good advantage of being lying down is that you can actually push your head into the pillow or into the couch or mat that you've got and just control it without any resistance with your hands. So you don't need to put your hands above your head or anything. You can, if you want to, increase the range and come up there, then push back if you feel comfortable. If you don't, all you need to do is push back into the couch, into the floor, whatever you're lying on for 10 seconds. And it's almost like trying to make a double chin as you're pushing back. And you hold that for 10 seconds and then relax. You move around a little bit with your head, then go again, and then push back into the couch. It doesn't look like I'm doing much because you can't really show on a video that you've got to contract and relax. I'm just showing you the positions that you should be in. Push down into the couch and then relax. So it's pushing that way, okay? Next one, to push up, you can either Put your fists underneath your chin like we did before, or if you prefer, put your hands on the top of your forehead like that, and then you're gonna push against your hands, okay? So that way, there like that, and you can push up. And relax. Move things around if you need to. I'll just show you with that hand there. Obviously you can put two hands up if you want. Push. 10 to 20%, not that much. Again, remember, if you're struggling with the 10 to 20% and how much you need to push, do 100% contraction as hard as you can, then halve it and halve it again and you're around about where you need to be. And relax, okay? And you complete these three to four times. You can do these as many times throughout the day if you want. You should ease you off as you go throughout the day if you need it. Again, why I'm showing you this as you're lying down is some people may not be able to get out of bed when they've got headaches, neck pain or anything like that and they may feel more comfortable doing it here. So the next one, that's up and down, that movement. We've also got side to side. This is exactly the same as what you would normally do Standing up, so over the head, but you can slide your head without lifting it up if you want. Over and push back into your hand that way without letting your hand, head overcome your hand. 10 to 20% and just hold it there. Keep the pressure on those fingers. And relax, move it around a little bit then go again. It totally depends where you start from. You do not need to go all the way over. You could just do it from state, static, looking straight forward and not moving at all. If you feel like you can side bend a little bit, that may help as you loosen things off in the neck. Obviously you do both sides. So you do this side as well, over there and push into it, okay? The next one is a rotating one. So you're rotating side to side. With this, 
you can rotate as far as you want. There's a couple of things you can do, but my favorite, instead of doing that, where you push over, is pushing down into the couch while you're rotated. So this is a different one. So you can do like we were doing before, where you're standing up and you rotate over, and then you push, and rotate the head over into your hand, and push into your hand, but using the neck muscles, okay? So you're rotating, trying to look straight ahead and going to the midline, and then relax. Obviously do both sides. But my favorite one in this position is go as far as you can, over to one side, and then push into the floor, into the couch, or pillow, or whatever you're on, and then relax, and then go again, and then push into the pillow, and then relax. Now some of these you may not get on with, some of them may be better than others, but it's important to know if you'll go too far in any one of these into the range of motion, it might cause discomfort. So you wanna keep it as close to the midline as possible to start with, and then veer over into a bigger range of motion. Start that. If you have got neck pain or tension in the neck, it's gonna be a lot more uncomfortable to go into further ranges of motion, and as it loosens up, it becomes less protective and you're able to move further before the alarm system goes off. Okay, thank you guys.